two. Uh, take two. The volume was super low for me. I could barely hear the car. It was just like, I don't know, it was just throwing me off. So, uh, you joined me today um, in a car that I really enjoy. Uh, 1969 Dodge Charger RT with the flip ups. You know, or the pot, you know, I mean, the pop lights. The shutter lights. Um, so I'm not where I'm supposed to be. I think it's like 1 p.m. or something. Uh, I'm really supposed to be at work. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. I stayed up all last Like, when I got home from work yesterday, when I, when I came home, like, I'm suffering from, like, rage, right? Like, I'm so frustrated and I just don't want to. It's a lot of things. Like, I just don't want to do anything. So, and, uh, yeah. So one, I don't want to do anything. Two, I'm extremely angry and I don't work well with other people, right? Especially not when I feel like they're fucking me over, you know what I mean? Like I just sit there and I'm just like, these motherfuckers are doing ba 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 to you and ba ba ba, you know, I just drive myself insane, right? And I, I, yeah, I just like, I don't even want to be there, but you know, a potato has to eat, right? So like, um, yeah, so I just, I'm done, kill me, this car isn't really tuned for this, but, um, I don't know, I just didn't, I didn't want to go in, like, I, I got home from work yesterday, and I just went to bed, dude, like, imagine you just, like, I walked out of your job because you couldn't stand, like, you just couldn't take it anymore, and, you know, you're the only motherfucker that, like, works in your house or whatever, I was gonna up. The only person that works in your house, right? So, like, if you don't provide, then you go back to hobo street living, which sucks. But you also have no motivation to do anything, so you don't really... I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it. Like, imagine, um... Imagine you felt two totally, like, different ways about something. Imagine, like, way one was you felt like, if you lose this job, that's kind of, like, the end, and you, you know... Well, I mean, it's not the end, but, like, it's the path that leads me back down the roads I've already been down. Which, you know, just go back to living in the car, put all my shit back in the storage. I don't know. Back to step one. I guess, again, for the fourth one. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I don't know, man. I just don't feel good. I just didn't want to go to work or whatever. So, like I said, I came home, went to bed. As soon as I got home, I just went to sleep for a couple hours because getting just stress and everything else. And then woke up, played Tarkov pretty much all night, proceeded to uh, just be like the worst fucking player in the entire game, right? Like, I had a guy by himself kill Kaban, and I was on a full PMC's kit, and I, the audio, I, I don't know, I threw a grenade above, and he was standing right next to me, and I was like, hey, what's up, dude, as I threw the grenade, and he's like, oh, what's up, dude? As he just walks out of a totally different spot than where I thought I heard him and just blasts me in the face. So I fumbled the bag like that with a dead Kaban. I watched Kaban die in front of me and I fumbled the bag. And it was pretty much like that a couple times yesterday. There were multiple times that that similar kind of thing happened. I kind of want to take that time. I don't know, man. I'm just bad. Like, I don't know. Like, I just don't do well for whatever reason. For, I'm sure there's lots of reasons. <sighs> just stressed out. I don't think I'm only in fifth. But okay, the the way to see my job, right? Like, I, it, it's not important. Like, it is important because you know, man needs to eat, right? Man's got to eat uh, and you know, pay rent, I guess. Even though I assume if I lose this job, I'll probably lose this apartment, and not in the sense of like. I'll be kicked out, but it, where I can't pay, but just in the sense of like, well, it's October now, my lease is up in mid-January, and I, if I lose my job, I'm just gonna, I don't know, start back over in my car, <laughs> which sounds as well, but, you know, if I have no motivation for anything, I have to go back to square one, right? Like, I don't know what Oh my god, dude, I don't even feel like I touched you like that, that was ridiculous. But yeah, I got him. So 
so like some of the ways to look at my job right like it, it, it doesn't really matter if I quit this month girl and I just sit at the house and I play video games I smoke next three months and I don't want to do anything myself as bad as that sounds it don't matter like it it, it matters in the sense of well you're gonna put yourself way behind on trying to get a house and everything else that you're trying to do but it doesn't matter in the sense of like I'm just surviving son like I'm just trying to survive <laughs> and you know what I mean my good mental state is horrible and I don't even know the last time that it wasn't bro so we're talking like 20 something years of just like fucking craziness and the first like 10 of them were so traumatizing that it's like holy son you ain't never gonna work through that on I was like nah probably not <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm just trying to be honest here but like I, like I say like it in a lot of ways this job doesn't really matter and it's just, you know, how I eat, right? It's just how I eat. Um, and again, it's like if I... If I, uh... If I have to start over on this and that, like... It's bad, and it sucks, right? But it's my thing, and... I just have to push down that road. So again, I called off work today. I still have the points. Like, I could call off again tomorrow. I'm gonna try not to. I'm gonna try and go in, but that might be even worse than calling off for me. I, I really don't know, son. But I'm gonna do my best to just get through tomorrow, and then that's the weekend time, so. I'm just trying to calm myself the down before I say something or do something stupid. And not, again, not in the sense of like, I'm fitting to, you know what I mean? Do anything insane, but just be like, Hey, yo, like, I don't want to fucking work in this place with these, like, you know, next thing to slaves in America and sh from Honduras, they get busted here an hour away. Like, there's a lot of things that I'm like, mm, you know, for you, I'm always slipping on water and sh nobody cares about that. And, uh, yeah, there's a lot of things, right? It's not, I don't know. It's not going to be the end of the world if a potato doesn't continue to keep the strong. But I am probably going to have to start back over at zero if I can't find a way to sustain myself, you know, soonish, right? That's kind of just the reality of it. So, I don't know. You know, I'm 30 years old. I've started over three times. Nothing but my car and $500, if I even have $500 at the time. And I don't know, man. I just... I have severe depression and bipolar disorder and I have rage and I don't work well with others and I, I feel so much shame of myself that I don't want to be around people. It makes me uncomfortable being around people just in general because I just I hate myself and everything else. It's like there's so many things to it that it's just like really compounds down to just be like, yeah, son, that's, that's pretty rough. But I push on, bro, and I don't fucking ask for nothing. You know what I mean? Everything that you see, I provided, son. Every motherfucking thing that I have, I provided. I mean, yeah, I'd have to look around for shit that I didn't provide. You know what I mean? A couple things hanging out from my grandpa, but pretty much everything's mine, man. That motherfucker would be proud of a good man. <laughs> In a sense, he'd be like, man, I never thought he was even gonna have a job. All he used to do was sell drugs and shit like that. <laughs> it's like, yeah. But, you know. It's kind of nice in the land. <sighs> he'd be, he'd honestly be proud as good me. It's my whole mental thing, man. I'm real fucked up as far as that, but like, he knows that and everything else. He'd be proud as good me, son. He'd be like, bro, you working in the honor industry? You got all these illegals and shit. He'd be, <laughs> he wouldn't be happy with how I live or how I, you know, take care of everything, but he would be. He'd be happy that his boy was still kicking around and getting, you know, making it work and everything else. So, I don't know, man. I'm doing okay, but I'm not doing anywhere near as well as I want to be. And every time I compare myself to other people, I just feel sad. Bro, where the fuck is this, son? This really ain't like an outdoor type, like a, you know, an off-road motor vehicle. Dukes of Hazard kind of lied about that. Is this gate breakable? Oh my god, bro. I'll get, you know, I'll get winded, son. I don't know, man. 
like I say, it's I have the two things where I think like, well, I, this is it. I don't know what else I'm gonna do if I, you know, give up on this. That's one of my top. <laughs> and the other one's just like, well, nah, it don't really matter, man. Like it sets you back, but like every day that you wake up is like an opportunity to get out there and do some crazy, like to make something happen. So, like I don't know to make to make something. <laughs> To try. You know what I mean? I'm not very good at drifting in this game at all. I have like, I think 11 hours total of this. I don't have very much time up for is on the wheel. It's honestly not bad. One of the biggest things that I, you know, I get more of in a set of courses I play, even though I've played a lot, um, just throttle control. Just getting a feel for like, okay, well, I'm breaking loose. Gotta, you know, get off the gas a little bit. Type thing. All right, yes. I actually want to go down this. Let's do this. Yeah. I don't know, man. Like, this is fun. This kind of makes me feel, like, decent. Like, yeah, I don't feel super happy, but I feel like, I feel decent about it. Like, this is all right. It's an all right time. I'm engaged. I'm feeling okay. Versus on Tarkov, like, I, I actually probably have to stop playing Tarkov at some point because I... I'm only scaving and I'm just stacking up stuff and I'm not doing my I'm not playing my PMC at all and I'm pretty much completely out of space to the point where well now I just buy item cases to store more armor and weapon cases to store more what well, I just buy motors because that's all I really need to buy weapon cases and yeah I just do that to get more space for the stuff that I take and the thing is is it's not like I'm actually taking these things from people I I literally just go there and, like, Cabana skilled them or something. I pretty much can't kill anyone, dude. It's getting, like, I don't know. <laughs> no. One thing that's kind of a big deal in my own uh, life is if my... If I have no confidence, if I don't feel confident in something or I'm not whatever, then I'll just do a poor job at it either way. Like, no matter how hard I try, like, you can put in any amount of effort. Like, if you don't feel right about it, you just ain't going to do right I don't know, son. It is what it is. I don't know what I'm going to do. I know, but... I'm going to have to figure it out. Because <laughs> if I don't, then... I don't know. I wish I would stop thinking of everything with such, like, a finality. Or, like, a, this is it, dude. This is your last chance. It's like, nah, it's... You know, it is what it is. I don't know. Maybe it's even worse to have the mindset of it is what it is. And that I'm accepting of my failures. Like, I'm not happy about them, but I'm accepting them, so crappy as that sounds. I don't know. And again, it was like, <laughs> as you get older, I don't know, like, if you're not where you want to be in your life, like, uh, it definitely weighs on you, right? Especially if you have a higher expectations for yourself, or I don't know, man, I just, I'm not sure what I want anymore, man. I want a big sack of potatoes. Got the coma pickup truck. Uh, is that a dog? I don't know. It sounds weird, but the other night, like, when I was, like, getting loose on my street and crying, I just wish I had, like, my dog dog. I missed, you know, but, <laughs> but, buttercup or whatever. <laughs> Her name was Butt, but, yeah. I named my dog Butt because my ex, a big butt. And I nicknamed her after her because I have issues. I love that dog, man. That dog was like my fucking kid, son. And I missed it. And I don't know, man. I don't have anyone to take care of anymore, man. Like, it's, it sounds weird, too. Uh, <clears throat> I spent a decent part of my fucking life taking care of people, right? Other people. Taking care of other problems, like not myself. I have is just my sh and I can't seem to solve my shit. My shit's just all I live in a place sometimes, man. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. This sucks. I need to be calm and relax because, you know, I get myself all. You ever seen. You probably seen the or whatever. It's mania, right? Like, you have. Oh, God. You know, if you have like mania, like you can drive yourself insane. You can like, you know what I mean? You can be going 900 miles a minute, and you can't talk to these people, right? Like, it's, there's a lot of things to it. Yeah. 
and I got that right. So that's one of the reasons that I spent so much, you know, time and money and shit just to like smoke and relax. You know what I mean? Like, I, whatever helps, I guess. That doesn't hurt, ideally. It's kind of nice, man. I remember when I made this car or whatever, I was kind of going for a drift car, and I had started to mess with it a little bit, but <clears throat> my throttle control just like, sucks. I'm, I'm like a papago with that. I know I'm missing the sign, but you know what I mean? We out here, we out here sideways. We out here sideways. You can't be stopping right this second. Should've grabbed fourth earlier. Come on, bro. Get out of my way. Right. I don't know, man. I'm probably gonna hop off this, get on Tarkov, make myself upset. Or... Not even upset, dude. It's not even like that. It's just like, if I'm not using the gear on my PMC, like, what am I even doing, dude? I'm, just, I'm, I'm legit, like, wasting the fuck out of my own time. And I don't know why. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna end up doing. Uh, maybe play more of this. Because, again, this actually felt kind of fun. So, maybe I can play this for, like, an hour or something. And then eat breakfast and whatever else. I, I tried to only sleep for, like, two hours today. So that hopefully I can actually go to bed tonight. Because, again, when I'm really anxious, I can't sleep. So, I can't sleep. And then, and I'm, obviously, I don't want to go to work. I can't fucking sleep, so. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I don't know. It is what it is. But I've been getting, I've been, <clears throat> I've been really good about, no matter how I feel, you go to work, son. You go to work, you get this money, you continue to grind. I'm just feeling bad right now. And I, I don't know. I don't know. I, like, I consider getting my two weeks. I consider just starting quitting. Like, a lot of shit. Said. So, I really don't know where I am as far as what I'm going to do. But, mm -hmm. I'm going to have to figure something out. And again, it's like. If you just rolled into a new, another job in a couple of months, it really don't matter. It ain't a big deal. But, like, if you just can give up again, give up completely, and you don't want to come back to work, and blah, 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 then well, that's going to put me right back where I've always been. Living in the car. <laughs> like a fucking dumbass. Hopefully this doesn't get, you know what I mean, with a flag, dude. Like, there's no reason for it. Like, I'm not saying anything like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's just annoying. I, the one guy commented that maybe it was the title, like how people with weird eating disorders eat. Which, again, I was cool with it being age restricted. Like, I'm not cool with it being age restricted, but, like, the way they made it seem, like, in the email and stuff, was like, they were gonna remove it, and nobody was gonna be able to see it. And I was like, well, that's fucked up. I mean, it clearly hurt the, uh, like, the whatever, the the views, or whatever, but it is what it is, man. Like, I don't blame them for age restricting something. I always put my stuff as not for kids in general, so. Ow. This is gonna take forever to upload because, uh, I'm just driving around trying to vibe out and explain, like, what the fuck is going on with me because I don't know, man. It's like, I, I want to tell my story, I want to be me. I, I, I don't know. Part of me wants to just be shut up and never say anything and never put anything out again. It's blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But that's not, it does, it's not productive. It doesn't do nothing, son. You know what I mean? It, it don't do nothing for me if I just don't do anything anymore. I went way down too far in the gears. I wanted to go down to four if I had second. All right, yo. Yeah. <sighs> we out. Oh god. I'll at least. Yeah, let's go. I'll at least let you, uh. Check me out. Let's see. I can't. Dude, I feel like I'm gonna fuck that up. Alright. Alright, dude. Yeah, this car is. I that about this car. I'm a huge car guy. Of cars in general. There's so many cars that I like. This has been one of my favorite muscles for a long time. 
this and the charger before it were pretty pretty awesome. I don't know. I have an appreciation for everything like if I bought an old timey A house, I was gonna keep everything mostly original. Unless it had dropped tiles, ceilings, those were gonna get destroyed. But again, it's like I I don't know. It's hard to see a future. When I don't wanna work or I can't find anything that I don't know. Makes me feel even okay. Hmm. Yeah. Peace out, dudes. I appreciate anyone that watches my like uh it gives me something to do. It gives me something to focus on, I guess. Uh, p replying to the comments and stuff. You know, you gotta give you something to do. <laughs> it's like the only people I talk to. I haven't spoken to any of my neighbors other than like a hello or like a good morning. In like eight months, so. Nobody knows me. Nobody even knows my name. I'm just a ghost. You know what I mean? It's always been a ghost. Nihihi <laughs> Hamari Potato. <laughs> I did.